finally, I have my sturdy permit in my hand. The journey begins. You may all know where is Montreal, but just to be sure, I made a little Google Earth. Montreal is the second most popular city in Canada. It is located in Quebec province. Welcome back to my channel. After an intense summer all across France, I'm now heading to Canada and more precisely to Montreal in order to follow a master in sustainability and management at HSC Montreal. Are you ready to take off? Every time before a new journey, I return to Paris for logistic purposes. I'll always stay a few days to pack, meet some friends and visit, when I have the time, the city. In Paris, I own a basement. Yes, you heard it well, a basement. It is my storage base. I store here all my belongings. This is my life. <laughs> Going from with my things from the basement to the apartment that we are renting on Airbnb. Once at the Airbnb, I try to organize everything to select what will go with me to Canada. It's a full mess. Oh, and it's such a headache, I don't know what to take. Finally, I figured it out and my family brought me to the airport. I went to Air Canada check-in counter. I had the following document with me. My admission letter from HSC Montreal, my study permit letter, my SAK letter, less than 72 hour negative PCR test, vaccination papers, that's it. Finally, I've done security, I've been to the check-in counter, it was a bit long though, like the queue were kind of long, I was surprised, like it took me an hour and a half, or even two, to come until here, like wow. And still that we are in the airport, we can still tell it's the COVID time because most of the shops are closed. It's weird. Finally made it to the boarding gate. Soon I will have to go. I don't know, it's feel strange. I don't know. I'm super happy to be going to Canada to this new adventure. I never been there. And finally I'm gonna study again something that I'm really interested in. So so happy. You know there it's been five years that I've been on the road with only luggages and it's kind of been weird for me because I'm finally gonna settle a bit in Canada for at least a year and a half. Something that never really happened to me in five years. Really, I had to start over and over every five months. So it was like challenging, but I heard like it was also a lot of opportunities. I met like fantastic people along the way. And if you're watching, I love you all guys, like really. And no, it was like um, so diverse. I went in different climates. Like really, it was amazing five years. You have also some cons, of course, to this life. And I will try to make you a video about it, about the pros and cons of such life. So something that I'm telling myself every time to keep going on and like changing all the time is like you can be better next and it will be better and it was better sometimes, sometimes not, but most of the time it was a completely new adventure. So guys, never hesitate to change and go against your fears and travel this fucking world! <laughs> Anyway, gonna take my flight now. <laughs> bye bye, France. Oh my god, yes. Ready for takeoff. Here we go. I paid my one way ticket around 350 euros with two pieces of luggage included. The flight is not that long, it takes around 7 hours and a half to reach Montreal from Paris. I chilled, worked, sleep, and we also undergo some turbulences, but we made it in one piece. Now I have to pass the immigration. Hopefully, I have all my papers with me. It took me around an hour and a half to complete everything. I finally got my study permit, yes, <laughs> and work permit. Everything is settled. Just need to get the luggage. There are so many students these days in the airport. It's like crazy. But guys, if you come here to study, try to do the IQ, IQ Plus thing format. 
because it really like helps speed up the process of for the paperwork, the study permit and so on, like really, it's way faster. I waited like what, 10 minutes and I got my study certificate and other people can wait up to three hours if they don't do it, so yeah. I need to tell you something really stupid that happened to me when I was in the plane. So we were having our lunch serve and I ordered tomato juice because I like tomato juice but it fell down from my platter and I had it all over my bag. So look, I have still some tomato juice that is dry on on my bag. I tried to clean it up in the plane but it was complicated. And now I feel like I smell tomato juice all over my body. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Hello, know me life, yay! Another tip, Accueil Plus can convert your proof of COVID-19 vaccination at the airport directly. In this way, it avoids you to queue for hours at Canadian vaccination centers. Made it out. <laughs> Waiting for the Uber, and soon I will be reaching my final destination, the Airbnb. Their airport road was a bit disappointing. There is nothing much to see. And I arrived in my Airbnb. Oh my god, I feel a bit tired, but I'm so excited to be here. And now I will be going out in order to meet friends that I met like 10 years ago, even more, 11 years ago in Korea when I was a kid over there and we kind of finally meet and be reunited after so long I'm so happy to see her My friend showed me around the neighborhood and we ended up eating ramen I was so happy to meet her again It is pleasant to find familiar faces when you just arrive in a country you've never been before in the next video, you'll discover all the struggles I've been through here in Canada in order to install myself. You'll see, it's gonna be intense. In the meanwhile, explore your surroundings. Bisous bisous!